Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Susan Lynn. I'm a psychic and a medium. Thanks for tuning into this video. Now, many of you guys are longtime viewers. Thank you so much for your support and for joining me on this really wild ride. Some of you are new. Sit down. Life preservers are over there. Crash helmets are over there. Goggles are straight in front of you. This is going to be something. So I want to talk to you guys about Trump's final days. Indeed, I did wear black. I did not light my candles. You can judge me if you like. However, Trump's final days on earth, Trump's final days as a presidential contender, Trump's final days as a thinking, a working human body brain. Yes, all of the above. I'm doing this video because I think I finally cracked the code. Now I'm laughing at myself because in my personal life, I talk to my spirit guides and that's what I'm doing right now. And I often hear myself, I get it. Oh my gosh, I get it. And I know from experience that as a human, I do not get it. <laughs> as a human, I am the human version of the toddler putting, finally getting the round block into the round hole instead of the round block into the triangle hole. And I'm not at all making fun of myself or saying that I'm less than, I am a human. I am very much a human and I'm working with beings that are quite a bit above my pay grade. So yeah, that's kind of what it feels like sometimes when I say I get it. I know because of experience that I'm about to get a lot more, right? Like I get it at this level, but next week, next year, next decade, maybe in the next life, I'm going to get it on a much bigger level. So take this as a caveat when I say I get it, but I'm so kind of gleeful because this morning, and literally it is morning, I'm drinking coffee. Uh, 20 minutes ago, I had my PJs on and I had bedhead. Well, I kind of still have bedhead. But anyway, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm going to cut right to the chase and then I'm going to back up and explain how I got there. Here's the thing. I've said this on many other videos, but now in my little human capacity brain, I feel like I've put all the pieces together. Let's see if I can get it out of my mouth because I'm channeling. Okay. The bottom line is this. The bottom line is, is that Trump does have syphilis. The guides want to say tertiary syphilis. I don't know what that is, but he has, he, this is allegedly and for entertainment purposes only just to have the legal sides all knitted up and nice and neat. Tertiary syphilis. Now, what does that mean? It means that he's cognitively in a decline. He's physically in a decline. Okay. So you're like, Susan, uh, newsflash, that's not new. Okay. I know, but here's what really the kind of like, <laughs> this is where I picked up the round block and I was like, oh, it goes here. His hand. Okay. When I first saw the hand picture, I honestly thought, and I said it on a video that I thought it was Photoshopped because in my mental thinking, not in my channeling knowledge, my higher level, you know, information, but in my mental ego thinking, this guy would never show his hand like that. He would never do that. He dresses a certain way. He has admonished his kids to dress a certain way. Even when they're in college, there's a story that I think it's Don Jr.'s college friend said that Don Sr. showed up to pick up Don Jr. and Don Jr. was wearing something that Trump thought was not acceptable and slapped him or hit him. This is as accounted by a third party witness. Trump cares about his looks. I mean, the ferret, come on, that he gives a lot of effort and making sure that that ferret never wa wavers. You know, that thing blows, it's unified. It's either going to be up or down, but it's unified. The other thing is Trump said after Jan 6 was reported, he said that I wish they had dressed better. What? You want them to dress better to perform a coup on the United States of America? You know, so he does care everything about image, everything. For him to put his hand up and have it be bloodied with blisters, that didn't make sense to me, okay? And it still doesn't make sense to me. Oh, wait, it does make sense to me. I'm about to tell you what happened. This is why I'm doing this video, because that, that thing put everything, it was the missing piece, okay? The missing piece is this. It's not a paper cut. Trump's people are telling the news. It's a paper cut. Hello, 
hello. I mean, I know you think we're stupid, but this is a new level of how stupid you think we are. When you look at it, you can clearly say that, see that they're blisters. You can clearly see that. Anybody can clearly see they're blisters. And blisters that have been peeled off. The skin has been peeled off in a round circle as a blister. No, it's not from golf. It is not from golf. Is it from him being past a crucifix? Quite possibly. That's the only other working theory that I have. But no, I think the real theory is, is that because he has syphilis and whatever version he has, because there are multiple versions, his hands are numb. His hands are numb, you guys. That's why he drinks like a toddler. <laughs> he holds his cup with two hands. That's why he has to have help going down a ramp. That's why he walks so weird with his leg kind of swinging out and dragging it. He's losing his physical functions. You might say he's lost his physical bowel functions or his bladder functions. But let's go back to the hand. The hand was numb. He was in Iowa where it was sub-zero. He put his hand on the railing to go down or to go up. And he took his hand off and it ripped the skin off of his hand. That is what happened. It's on his thumb, it's on his finger, and it's here. You grab something and you rip. He grabbed something cold and it ripped the skin off and he couldn't feel it. That's the part, that's the missing key. And he still can't feel it. You and I know that if you have a blister the skin is missing off of, air itself hurts. It is something that hurts. It's an owie. Yet he doesn't know that he has it. He's not even aware that it hurts because he has no feeling in his hands. Numbness is a symptom, is a side effect of this disease. Now, bottom line, I'm going to tie it all up and put a bow on it. I'm a little late for the holidays, but you know, never better late than never. Here's what's going to go down, you guys. And I'm ready to go to Vegas and put money on this. I've said all these things in pieces before, but now it's all together of one piece. He is either going to have a stroke and cuckoo, you know, push up some daisies, be planted next to Ivana. I don't know. I did, you know, uh, Linda G saw the aquarium saw the glass coffin at the mall. And I did a video a little while back where I said, he's not going to lie in state because his kids are going to charge 25 bucks a head. And really and truly 25 bucks a head is a bargain, right? I'd pay 25 bucks. And I said, I'd pay 25 bucks to walk up to that coffin and, you know, tap on it to make sure he's really dead. Make sure he doesn't jump or something, you know, like you do fish in an aquarium. I will do that. I promise you, I will do that. So anyway, He's either going to kick off. And now I'm telling you, timing is not, not my best suit, but I'm ready. I'm ready to, to woman up and do some timing here. I'm going to tell you he's going to be incapacitated by October. Now, when I mean incapacitated, I mean cuckoo, dead, pushing up daisies in the glass coffin at Mall of the America, whatever that is. I'm not sure. We'll see what his kids do. Two, incapacitated as there's not a third you guys incapacitated as mentally he's either had a stroke or he's had some kind of decompensation where we don't need a court of law to say this man is not mentally capable of holding a sentence driving a car much less being president we are not even going to need that it's going to be very evident you're going to have a very somber person on TV saying it's been reported that, you know, previous president, I hate to even say those words, Trump has had a stroke. He did survive, but he is in, in a limited uh, brain function. That's what you're going to hear. He's in a limited brain function, like <laughs> that kind of limited brain function. So two choice. is there a third? Because I did a video where I had three, but I can't 
get the third one. I think third got booted out, got, you know, summarily dismissed. There's two options. He's pushing up daisies. I don't know why they want to say pushing up daisies. They like that for some reason. I don't know what that is. But anyway, he's either going to cross over. Well, I got to. So when I look up, it's like they're like <laughs> they're interrupting me by saying he may not cross over. I never third. There's the third. There's the third. I never considered that he wouldn't cross over and that he would become a ghost. I, I'm speechless at that. I don't know. Who, who would he haunt? Obama. They just said, no. I never thought about this, you guys. I never seriously believed he was, I mean, I, I believed it, but I didn't believe it. Like I believed it, but now I believe it. Now it's like, I'm ready to put money on it. And I'm not a gambler, nothing wrong with gambling. I'm just not a gambler. Uh, but when I tell you I'm ready to go to Vegas and put money on something, that's pretty serious for me. Cause I put $20 in that machine in Vegas and it took my $20. And I was like, I got nothing to show for this. So not my favorite thing. So I'm ready to go put money on this. This man is either going to cross over by October or he's going to be incapacitated in a way that is without any doubt. And perhaps this is Don Jr. I'm seeing Don Jr. say this in a in, a, in front of a camera, this uh, solemn uh, reporting of my father's either death or illness um, and that he, you know, obviously is withdrawing from the race. Now, the third thing, we're just going to have to, call up a whole posse of mediums. <laughs> Literally, we may have to call up some kind of space force of mediums and boot his butt out of here because, I mean, come on, haunting. He's particularly fixated on Obama and fixated on Michelle. And you know he's a leerer. You know he he leers. You know he's a he's weird. Oh, my God, he's so gross. Oh, my God, Trump is a ghost. Do you know what that means? That if he can get to the Obamas, now, ghost can't fly. I know this is now spiritual, but I have to just give you the entire situation. We are in the situation room right now. The situation is that ghost can't fly. They have to hitch a ride with humans. So he's probably going to, oh, well, of course, Obama will probably show up at something that Biden is at. Anyway, he's going to get there and he's going to be leering at Michelle. We have to get the word out to Michelle. Michelle, if you're watching... Get sage, honey, get sage. Sage your bathroom. Crystals, sage, go all out. You got money, you got connections? I'll come help you. Believe me, I will come help you. Okay, that's that. I'm not talking about that anymore. That is crazy. Y'all didn't have to do that to me. I didn't see that coming. Okay, what else do I need to tell you? Okay, yes, back to our regularly scheduled program. I don't know what the hell. October, I need to talk to you about October. October is before November. November is the race. Now, what I've always seen, if you're a longtime viewer, I've told you guys, I see the Republican Party being just, you know, they're paging them, paging Republican Party, and they don't show up. They don't show up for the vote. The person on the ticket, Trump, is gone in whatever way that is. And now everybody else is gone. There's nobody. I always describe it, the guides describe it as uh, their batteries run out. So I just see everybody flopped over. And, and it's not like they've been killed or violent or anything like that. It's that their battery ran out. Now, what is their battery? Money. Their money ran out. We see this. Vivek stepped down. Um, God only knows why. DeSantis is still going because he's not human. He's really an alien. But anyway, their money runs out. They flop over. So we get we get ourselves to May. This is why this is the whole thing. I wanted to tell you. I swear to God, we get ourselves to May. May is when this might happen. I'm going to say March, April, and May are not good months for Mr. Trump. Not good months. Okay. First of all, he was born on an eclipse. The astrologers say. And the astrologers say people born on eclipses often leave on eclipses, okay? Uh, so that's something. We have an eclipse. We have a lunar eclipse in March and a solar eclipse in April. So I don't think March, April, or May is going to be very good for him. I really feel like that could be when the stroke happens. Now, if this slippery SOB somehow evades 
karma and all the things that are coming at him. And he somehow, which I very much find unlikely, gets to October. Then October is when it's definitely by October. So perhaps maybe a scenario might be me trying to make sense of this timeline the spirit guides are giving me unless they want to make sense of it for me. <laughs> They're like, you're doing a good job. Keep going. God. Okay. The bottom line is October. He'll be out by October. Perhaps he has a stroke that they try to cover up in March, April, May. And I just heard May 15th. Uh, he has some sort of health issue that they try to cover up. But by June, you know, the media is like, eh, something's not right here, right? I mean, like, I think that his decompensation or his slippery slide down into very terrible health has been sort of, it's been uh, curated. The guides are saying it's been curated. So what does that mean? It means that they let you see Trump in very curated moments. He's standing, he walks five steps, five steps to the podium. He walks five steps to the reporters. The reporters are kept 15 feet, 20 feet away from him. And then he exits to the side. I've watched this because I was watching his leg. He he literally has to kind of drag his leg around. And I really wanted to watch that and see that. But the way they had him exit, there were poles that obstructed your view. There were Secret Service people that obstructed your view. So he's curating his visuals. This is what you get to see. That's why the hand didn't make any sense. Why would he be curating his visio, visual and allow you to see something like that? Because he couldn't feel his hand. He forgot that it hurt, that it was painful because he couldn't feel it. That was the tell. That was the, that was the circle block that I put in the circle shape finally. So let's say he has this uh, health event in... March, April, May, June is the next month. June, June, somebody is like, something has happened. Now, I'm not saying he can't cross over in March or April. He can. The, this, this is a, the guides are saying, this is an active period of time where he could pass. So March, April, May is an active period of time that he could pass. What I do is I try to, I just come at this from every angle that I can, because the spirit guides only want to tell you so much, right? We're not supposed to know everything. So I employ, like, and I'm laughing at that word as I said it, because I don't pay these people anything. And so I don't employ them. And that also means that they work for me, which is not true either. I feel like, I feel like we have a uneasy alliance at best. But anyway, I work with the spirit guides to get information, but I also read the energy. I also check the Akashic records. So I'm a, I'm a like multi-point kind of person. I want to get all the information I can from every source I can. Does this get me in trouble sometimes, but it's worth it. So I would look at his Akashic records to see if he has any sort of contract with anybody that he has to fulfill. This is really important, right? So I do this all the time in readings as well, because if he doesn't have any contracts to fulfill, then he can, you know, disappear in April or March or May. However, if he has a soul contract to fulfill the body, so for instance, one soul contract might be that he's supposed to, I mean, they just told me be a vegetable. That's what they just told me, but he's supposed to be compromised. Mentally and physically compromised. This could be. I'm not saying it is. You guys listen to my words. Active listening. Let's put our active listening ears on, please. He could be compromised. And that soul contract could be that he's given his kids an opportunity for compassion and love toward him that they that he didn't have toward them. Listen, spirit guides love this shit. They love this. They're like, oh, look how beautiful. They'll have an opportunity to, you know, wipe his brow and change his diaper. They're going to get a happy. What, what? 
Spirit Guide Hallmark Channel have you guys been watching? Have y'all been hitting up the sauce over there? Are you kidding me? They will literally hire some poor sucker, and Walt Nalta will probably be the poor sucker, to do all that work. They're not going to, Daddy, we're sorry that you were a jerk and mean to me, and you hit me, and you took my money, and can I still get that money from you? I know you're really decompensated here, and you're mentally unsound, but can we... Forge his signature. That's what they're going to be doing. They're not going to be changing his diaper. They're going to be in there going, everybody practice his signature. Everybody practice his signature. Whoever gets the best signature gets an extra 10%. You know, they're going to be trying to, you know, crack his will, trying to forge his will, allegedly, right? That's what they're going to be doing. But the spirit guides, hope springs eternal, you guys. Hope springs eternal for us little humans down here. Us little, you know, we're doing the best we can. We're doing the best we can. And they always give us an opportunity to reach for a higher ring. You know, you never know. Maybe one of these kids is going to have some kind of strike of compassion, a moment of compassion. Maybe it'll be barren, right? We saw pictures of Trump not being allowed or not getting into Melania's car at the, her mother's funeral note that Melania wore black for her mother's funeral. Anyway, we saw pictures of Trump leaning in with her door open and she's like not scooting over. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like when you're kids and you get the drive, you get that seat and you're like, I'm not moving. You're going to have to crawl over me or go around. I'm not moving. That was the energy. He leaned in, talked to her, shut the door. And then Baron, his son, was behind him, interestingly enough, with his hand not touching Donald. But like, I'm going to touch the air. I'm going to touch the air around you, Dad. I'm not going to touch you. I'm just going to touch the air. Like, come on. You know, really. Um, and and Baron had this really serious look on his face, this... Uh, I, I believe this kid may have picked up some kind of I'm the one that has to, you know, how some kids do. I'm the I'm the adult in the room. I'm the adult in the room. So perhaps maybe Baron is there. You know, Baron is there saying, no, I'm protecting my dad. Because I think Trump with Baron, where where I'm not saying in the don't even think that I'm saying that Trump was any kind of father, I'm saying that. And this is what the guides told me when I was making my coffee this morning. Allegedly, Trump, when he was much younger, he was violent. He would slap, he would hit, he would shove, he would uh, pinch, twist. He was violent. Well, Trump, after, say, 60, is not violent because, woohoo, the syphilis, you know, he doesn't have that physicality. So Baron grew up with a different kind of father. Plus Melania, you hit her child and Melania will poison you in your sleep. Or maybe even not sleep because she's the kind of woman who would give you your soup or your coffee or your Diet Coke or your ketchup and smile that smile she has. Here you go, honey, and watch you die. So Baron grew up with a completely different father. He doesn't know Trump like the other kids know Trump. Like Tiffany doesn't know Trump the way the other three kids know Trump because Tiffany was raised really by her mother. So I think this is interesting. What I'm seeing is this hospital room, and I'm not really joking about them trying to forge his will, but I see Baron being, a, I don't know what that word is, anxious. Uh, he's... He's uh, angry on his dad's behalf that these kids would be around the bed crying with relief, not with grief, crying with relief. The nightmare is over. The witch is dead. Ding dong, the witch is dead. That's what they're playing in my head right now. So he saw his dad in a completely different way. He sees his dad as, as really a victim, as a, someone who can't take care of himself, as someone who needs help. Fascinating, isn't it? So to recap, here's what we have. Trump's out. 
<laughs> Trump's out. He's out. Now, let me just tell you this, right? So I've seen all this and varying every video I've done has had one version of this, except for them practicing his signature and the ghost. That's new. Breaking news right here today. So I've seen a lot of this, but now I want to talk to you about what happens when there's no Republican front runner. When Nikki Haley's battery's dead, Vivek's battery's dead, DeSantis is in the swamp, strapped to a stump somewhere, his battery's dead, and Trump is either dead or, you know, himself in the corner. I don't know which, and I really don't care, to be honest with you, as long as it's one or the other. And I'm not wishing for it. I'm simply telling you what is. I want to say, I'm saying what is. That's the energy that is. Now, um, now who's who? what's going to happen, right? That's the million dollar question, is it not? Because I think it is. Now, in the past, I've seen young, young, what's his name? Young, I had it, I had it a minute ago, Youngston, young, young, youngkin, youngkin, I think. He Isn't he a governor? Okay. I saw the Republican Party going to him and saying, please, 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 please run, please run. And he said, are you crazy? This country is totally trashed right now. I'm not taking, I'm not going to be taking over no trashed country. I'm going to wait until somebody fixes it and then I'm going to run. <laughs> so they do go to him, Youngkin, right? They do go to him and they say, hey, things are looking up. There's no Trump. There's no Vivek, there's no DeSantis, there's no Nikki Haley, um, there's no Herman Cain, I don't think, or God bless Herman Cain if he tries to run. That's not going to go well for the Republicans, but, you know, I'm I'm good for that. And, and they really do take another run at this guy, at Youngkin. I think that's how you say his name. I'm not sure. For some reason, my chest is hurting. I don't know what that is about. It's not a heart. It's an energy thing. I don't know what that's about. It might be the energy. Anyway, uh, Youngkin, um, Youngkin's considering it because, because he thinks Biden is weak. He thinks the economy is doing really well. I mean, it, it's almost as if the ball has been teed up for him and it's easy to knock it out of the park. But it's not going to be easy to knock out of the park. He thinks he I don't I don't see him doing it. I, I'd be surprised because Yunkin is like a cost benefit analysis kind of guy. He pros and cons. Right. And the bottom line is it's going to cost too much money. It's a short run. He doesn't have time. He doesn't have enough time to position himself to what they're telling me is he doesn't have enough time to create the identity of a president. He just doesn't have that much time. He wants 16 months. He wants all the time, right? He doesn't want to come in at the last minute and rush it. He's not that kind of guy. This is the guy that will wait for the right moment, but it is tempting to him. So I have to say that I did a live video last night with Linda G and Linda G saw Herman Cain and I never saw Herman Cain, not even anywhere in my consciousness. But now that she said it, I think there's energy around that. And I think if Trump picks Herman Cain for his running mate, Herman Cain might be, I hate to say it, but dumb enough to think that he could be the surrogate and that he could run. Maybe not dumb is the right word, but convinced, like uh, sold a bill of goods. What I'm getting is the Republicans would sell him a bit, bill of goods. You're our man. You The same thing they tried to do with Youngkin, right? They just need somebody who's electable. They need, and now, because everybody's batteries run out, I mean, including Trump's, the ultimate battery, there isn't anybody. So- they're going to grab somebody. They got to have somebody. Now, the problem is the guides are showing me. I worked one time on um, the vote counting. I worked as a vote authenticator in a, in a write-in for a small race. Okay. But God bless this person. Their name was something crazy that had like two S's or one S or some odd, one, some odd spelling. 
these Trumpers are never going to spell Herman Cain in a million years. They're going to spell it C-A-N-E. Uh, they're never going to spell. I mean, this might be a karmic payback. You're going to make people dumb in your party, and then you're going to ask them to write in a name. Then you get what you get, and you don't throw a fit, you know? So that's what I would say, guys, is it's, it's exactly as I saw. Here we are in October, and there's no who's running on the Republican side. We don't know. We don't know. It's there's no front runner. It's uh, they might just all put in their favorite name. They might write write in DeSantis. They might write in uh, Vivek. They, can, can you imagine them spelling Vivek's name? They're gonna just write VS. <laughs> or whatever it is. And, you know, it's like, you're going to throw that vote out. This is how we win it. I'm not saying we can't win it on our own merits, but I am saying when the vote is taking place in a society full of lunatics, it helps to have spirit help you out a little bit, you know? And that's what spirit is done. This is what I tell you guys. If you're still watching this video, which many of you have already left or fallen asleep, or I don't know, maybe you're walking the dog by now. Who knows? But another reason why spirit is helping us, because they don't help us with, you know, killing each other or disease outbreaks. You know, it's like, why, would, why are they helping us with this? Well, because our vibration has gotten so out of whack. The whole planet's vibration has gotten so out of whack that the planet is kind of wobbly. And when we wobble, we send out a wobble vibration to all the other existences and we jack up their backyard barbecue or their Super Bowl party or whatever it is they're doing. And they're like, there goes earth again, ruin it for everybody. That's why we can't have nice things, you know? So then they send the spiritual police into earth to get our wobble fixed. So there's a range that we can jack up this place. This is why we can't use nuclear weapons. We did use a nuclear weapon and then we jacked up everybody's neighborhood. And then they came in and said, we're gonna have to appoint some aliens to watch over your nuclear weapons so you don't do that again. And that is what's happened, folks. I don't care if you believe in aliens or not. There's a reason we have not been able to fire off another nuke. It's very, very recorded and documented in the 50s. Very documented. Think about the Foo Fighters. Who were they? Because we were about to jack up everybody else. So they'll let us jack our planet up to within some range. Some range. But if we get too out of, out of our range, they come in and bring us back into compliance. Now, sadly, that compliance allows for a lot of mayhem. That, that compliance allowed for Hitler, allowed for Trump, allowed for terrible things to happen, horrible things, genocides of native peoples, racism, beyond measure, terrible things. But that's what we signed up for here in Bad Adventure Land is we wanted to experience those extremes. Check your ticket. However, we can't go too far out. And that's where we are. We're too far out and spirit is helping us out. Thank God. We're not going to blow this planet up. We're not allowed to blow the planet up. We're only allowed to do so much mayhem before the principal comes down and, you know, restores order. So hopefully this has made some kind of sense. I don't know. I'm channeling. I don't even know. I'm still stuck on the ghost part. I'm, I've got a really, that, that really took me out, honestly. So whew, I'm going to release the energy now. I'm disconnecting from whatever that was. Thank you so much for watching to the bitter end. Let me know in the comments what you think, please. I want to hear what you have to say about this. Does it make sense? Am I decompensating? Am I now the ravings of a lunatic psychic? Maybe that should just change my name, my channel to that. That might be good. Let me know what you think. But most importantly, 
take really, really, really good care of yourself. We need you. I need you. We need you. You are the light. Even if you feel like your light is dim, even if you feel like your light went out, well, newsflash, your light can never go out. Never. It, it doesn't, it doesn't go out. It's, it's not extinguishable. So it can get dim and it can get bright and that's normal. That's all normal. That's normal for this place. However, you can kind of pump it up a little bit. Okay. So you can give yourself some love and that will boost your light a little bit. And when you boost your light, you're helping others. So there's a, a nice payoff for that. Take really, really good care of yourselves. I'll talk to you real soon. For entertainment purposes only.